Hello and welcome to today's edition of Architects Den YouTube tutorial. Today our focus will be on tags and uh, we'll be making mention of doors and window tags in Revit. How you can import them into a new project, how to edit the properties of your tags and then how to place them. So let's get into it. Tags are annotations for identifying elements in a design project or in a drawing. Every category in the family library has a tag attached to it, some of which are automatically loaded with default Revit templates, while others you need to load them in manually. So today I will be taking you on how to load in doors and window tags into a project, also how to place them and edit them to your taste. So let's get into it. This is your default Revit screen as you can see then you identify or locate where your project file is in your Windows folder so for us we have the documents we'll go to the folder where the project is being saved once you identify the location you open your Revit project here we have a Revit project you go to the plan view and we have large windows uh, these are cutty wall windows and then we have our doors this is a one bedroom apartment building then this is what we'll be using for this particular tutorial so first and foremost to tag your doors and windows you go to annotate you can tag your projects or your family singly as a group as a category if you click on the option tag all it tags all identical families or identical categories of elements in a project so for example we can select tag or we have the doors we have window we have, we have walls we have room tag so you can highlight them and uh, tag everything all at once but as you can see there are no doors and window tags in this particular window because we've not loaded them into the project so how do we load this into the project we'll show you that as we move ahead the other option to tag your element or your family is to click the tag by category and once you click this you select the particular family you want that and then it opens this window where it says there is no tag loaded for windows you want to load that one now okay so you can actually load in your tag from this so i'll be showing you how to load in your tag so you go to uh, insert then you go to um, load family then you look for where you have your um, library so on my own screen i have um, it located on this uh, panel of um, this window panel this side panel of my window so you can also go to yours and um, maybe under your under your local disk auto the x 23 libraries and then english imperial so from there you can um, locate the annotation families so um, you go to this folder where we have the annotations, uh, go to architecture, then you scroll down to we have the door tag here and then I think okay we have the window tags here. So uh, you can load the two in at the same time by clicking this and then you press ctrl and then click on the window tag and then open. So these two will be loaded in uh, at the same time. So to be sure that uh, the tags have come into Revit, you go under annotate, go under tag all, and um, as you can see, we now have uh, door tags and we have our room tags. So uh, we can now decide to tag each of these elements um, singly, or we can decide to tag them as a whole. So if you tagging them singly, you just click on tag by category, and as you can see the uh, tag comes on uh, with a leader so you can actually turn off the leader by clicking on this option here on the uh, top uh, right the uh, top left uh, corner of your window so um, click on tag all select doors and window tags and then click on apply and then click ok so as you can see all our windows in the project uh, has been and tagged accordingly so you can select it to move um, to move them you just select first and then this cross icon will show where you can um, drag and move it into position so you do the same thing for all your um, other tag elements so um, we can also edit this is the default uh, Revit tag uh, format with this um, hexagonal shape 
you can decide to edit this window tag and uh, the door tags into any format that um, you you most prefer so you can do that by clicking on this and then clicking on edit um, family or you go under your um, family option under your project under the project browser you click this plus button and then you under the annotation symbols you go you look for um, window tags which is this you right click on it uh, you left click first then right click then click on edit so by the time you click on edit the the this new window opens where you can um, adjust the parameters of uh, your window tags so you on that create option you go to line select line and then there are options to draw a line uh, for rectangular shape um, polygon or circle so for this tutorial we'll be using circle as uh, the shape we we'll use for window tags so um, you just draw this so as you can see the dimension is showing but is um, showing it fits so depending on which um, country you are your or which settings which unit settings you use for your revit which you can actually change so uh, let's try and then do that click on escape then press un when you press un you see this um, project unit window open go to under your length length option click on this um, as you can see it's um on feet and fractional inches so you can easily change this to millimeters and then click ok and then click ok to uh, finalize it then go back to create select line uh, we're using circle for this project as i said earlier so you select the circle and then you drag it so you can see our dimension is now showing in the millimeters so uh, we can say maybe 1.8 so by the time we select 1.8 use your tab key um, over your mouse above one of the line and use your tab key then you can delete all this so also we can adjust the the test or the tag label by clicking on it and then you go to your property uh, window click on edit type uh, and then you can see all the parameters that you can tweak to your own choice here we we'll have the color you can change the color to say red or, or blue depending on your taste or your office templates you can decide to make the background um, transparent the line with the borders if you want the borders to show and leader and border offsets the test font so but basically i will just change the color or change the fonts and um, the test fonts for uh, this tutorial i will be using um, elegant elegant uh, plus major so we we'll select this uh, test size we can change it to 1.75 your the the scale of your project determines what the test size to use so if, if you are working on scale 1 to 100 you use a different test size from if you're when you're working on scale 1 to 200 or scale 1 to 50 so uh, that is a common knowledge that uh, everyone should should know so by the time you finish editing your parameters to paste then you can uh, apply and then uh, let's make this both because it's looking fine you can now okay it looks better now you apply and centralize this and then click ok so after adjusting all the parameters you load this into your project by clicking this option load into projects and then close so i'm um, ready to ask if you want to save changes to window tag you click yes and it will ask if you want to override the existing file which is the default revit template which i will advise you to not um, replace so you can just create your own tag format separate from what um, revit has to offer you so you click on no and then it opens up a window where you can uh, save your own personalized tag so this is under the revit folder but i'll be saving this under our own um, for the sake of this tutorial saving it under my own personal uh, 
folder which is here so i'll save this as the um, window tag architect then so once I'm, i've done that i'll save it automatically loads into the project so so um, as we can see these tags actually did not did not um, change to uh, what we just created but that's not a problem so you can select one of these and then um, select all instances in view and then go to your properties a window and then you see window tag architect then option so you just click on this and then all the tags all the window tags actually have um, changed to the new modified or edited tags so with that you can adjust you can move them closer to um, the particular family you are working with so the same thing applies to your dog tags um, i will be using the second option of um, editing so you can click on the dog tag click on edit family a window opens up where you can adjust all the uh, the parameters and the shape of this tag first of all check the units of this project go to length um, as we can see it's in feet and fractional inches so you change this to millimeters click ok and then click ok then uh, go to line as we did in the earlier uh, for the window task you can select the center point oh, okay and draw your circle i think we use 1.8 the other time so we'll maintain the same dimension for this so over your mouse above this line use tab button and then delete all so also we are going to edit this tag label and you go to uh, edit type under the property duplicate the options and probably name it to your own um, or as you wish let's say label 2 um, click ok uh, let's change this to blue just to have a similar character with the uh, first one then elegant uh, elegant loss um, the test size you can change that to 1.75 as we did uh, make it bold and then you apply and click ok so this is uh, the door tag so you can load into the project um if you ask if you want to save changes to dot tag click yes uh if you want to overwrite or replace the existing default revit tags click on no uh, then go to the folder where you have your personalized file saved open and then say dot tag and click save so i will not be changing this name for a particular reason so but this is my own uh or this is the personal option uh different from what Revit, Revit has given us so by the time you click save and then uh, load into project it asks this uh task you to override the existing version that's what you have currently so the reason why this didn't happen when we were uh, loading in the window tags was because we renamed it from the default uh window tags that um, window tag that um, Revit gave, gave us so that's why this option didn't come out and we had to uh, manually uh, change the or overwrite the initial tag that was uploaded into the project so but with this since we maintained the same name we thought was there before it asked to override the existing version and the parameters so you click yes you click on this uh, so automatically it overrides all the uh, revit uh, defaults tax dot tax so these are the two options of um, how to edit revit uh, doors and window tax so to name these tax there are also different or several ways by which you can name or rename them as you can see this door is tag um, um, 239 so depending on your office template or the method by which your office tag um, the, their families you can click on this and click on the center and rename this to let's say d01 so uh, by the time you click on enter it uh, renames that particular door 
to day zero one. But you know, this can be really strenuous to do. Renaming all the doors. Let, let's let's try with this door. Let's say D zero two, and you click OK. So you see it uh, renames, or depending on if these doors are the same size, you see you can still rename it as D zero one. So these are the things that uh, these are the ways you can rename uh, your your. We can also do the same. Either you rename them singly, which might be a little bit stressful, or you are changing the parameters. This could affect many elements. You click on continue. So all the similar uh, windows uh, that share the same properties are renamed exactly to that um, tag tag uh, annotations that you give it. Or you can click on the window and go to edit type and. Uh, under the type mark you change this to wo2 and you click apply and then okay so all similar windows will also um, change to that parameters that you just imputed so um, this is basically how you um, upload or you load in your tags using the default um, uh, from the default revit tax both doors and windows and how you can uh, name and rename them so thank you for watching and um, we hope to you know, do more on this in our subsequent um, video do like share and subscribe and remain blessed thank you so if you find this video helpful do well to like and drop a comment also share this to your friends and then turn on the notification button so that you can get notified of our subsequent um, videos on this channel as we will be releasing a lot of informative and educative content on this channel. Thank you.